ज्ञानम परमम ध्येयम नॉलेज इज सुप्रीम let us look at one example to completely uh, understand the process so we are given this matrix a okay so we want to find the eigen eigen values and a basis consisting of eigen vectors to diagonalize this matrix a if possible right so what is the first step find the eigen values so look at determinant of a minus lambda i so a minus so along the diagonal you will be subtracting lambda so here it will be 1 minus lambda 1 minus lambda minus 2 minus lambda everything else remains the same find determinant of that so just written the answer here it comes out minus lambda times lambda square minus 9 that means lambda is equal to 0 and lambda equal to plus 3 and minus 3 so lucky here we have got three distinct eigen values right so obviously because there are three distinct eigen values and matrix is of order of 3 cross 3 and each eigen value is going to give you a eigen vector and eigen vectors corresponding to distinct eigen values are linearly independent so for each eigen value we will find a vector which is eigen vector put them together they will form a basis of consisting of eigen vectors so that also will give me the matrix p which is going to diagonalize right because we are lucky here we have got three eigen values for a 3 cross 3 matrix so let us just go through the process for lambda equal to minus 3 so what will be the matrix we will be looking at a minus lambda i so lambda I, uh, lambda is minus 3 so it becomes a plus 3i right so that is the matrix and how do you find the null space or nullity you have to make reduce it to the row euclidean form so we are given here the row euclidean form is given by this okay so once that is the row euclidean form what is the rank of the matrix rank of the matrix is 2 so what is the nullity 1 right so the eigen space or the null space for this has only got dimension as 1 so how do you find that so you will find from here right x2 minus x3 is equal to 0 right so x2 is equal to x3 so you can give any value you like right for the vector which does not have a, a pivot right that uh, what does that give me x3 equal to 0 anyway uh, sorry x1 the first one is x1 x1 is equal to 0 So zero one one is an eigen vector. It's clear. Once you have gotten the reduced row Euclidean form, writing down the basis for the eigen subspace or basis for the null space is quite easy. So for the eigen value lambda equal to minus three, zero one one is an eigen vector, right? Or you can also say the null space is spanned by this vector. Scalar times this also will be an eigen vector, right? So for lambda equal to minus three, we have found. let us go do for lambda equal to 3 so lambda equal to 0 so what will be lambda equal to 0 a minus lambda i that is a matrix a itself right so that is a matrix and if you make it row operations it becomes like this okay so each again and again you have to look at a minus lambda i reduce it to row euclidean form and see what is the dimension and find the basis so again the rank is equal to So non-zero number of rows is two, so nullity is one, so dimension is equal to one, right? I will have only one eigen vector which spans this. So how do you find that? What is x two from the second equation? X two plus zero x one x two x three equal to zero. So what is x two? Zero. So you get zero here. What is the first equation? X one Plus 2x1, uh, 2x2 minus 2x3 is equal to zero. Which one gets the arbitrary value? X3. Everything else is determined in terms of that. So x3 you can give the value one, just to be simple, right? 
So, give it when 1 and compute x 2 is 0, compute x 1, so you get the vector, right. Pivotal, pivotal variables are computed in terms of non pivotal, right, no, non pivotal variables, uh, pivotal variables are computed in terms of non pivotal variables. So, arbitrary values are given to the non pivotal variables. So, here x 1 plus 0 x 2, right. So, we got x 2 equal to 0 that is computed because there are, right. And the first one, the non pivotal variable x2 is already determined, the non pivotal one is x3, which can be given arbitrary value. So, that arbitrary value we have given it as 1 and found everything in terms of that. So, that is one eigenvector for the eigenvalue lambda equal to 0. So, let us do the same for lambda equal to 3. So, lambda equal to 3 a minus lambda i. So, that is a minus 3 i, right. Again, same process. So, if you, uh, so this is already in that. So, if you do the row equal form, this comes out to be this. So, what is the rank again? Rank again is 2, nullity is again 1. You see, we, got, we have got three distinct eigenvalues. So, rank of each null space is going to be 1 anyway, it cannot be more, right, because each vector is going to be there and they are going to be linearly independent. So, if you are getting something else, then you are making a mistake in your computations. So, again, so for here you get x3 is equal to the second equation gives you x3 equal to 0. So, that is equal to 0. In the first equation, x1 minus 2 minus x2 plus x3 is equal to 0. x3 is given the arbitrary value, x3 has been determined, x2 is given the arbitrary value. So, x2, x3 are known, x1 can be computed from that. Right, because this says x3 is equal to 0. So, x3 is known and from the first equation x3 is known, x2 is given as the arbitrary value that is a non pivotal uh, variable and x1 is determined in terms of x2 and x3. So, that gives you 1 0 0 1 1 0. Okay. So, once you have got the three eigenvectors, right, you can write them as the columns. So, that is your matrix P or X whichever way you want to call it. Okay. So, the first eigenvector, second eigenvector and the third eigenvector okay. as the columns. Uh, I think there is a mistake here, right. This V3, this should be 0 here, right. So, once that is done, you check that x inverse A x is equal to this or simply A x is equal to A x is equal to x times diagonal. If you do not want to compute x inverse, you can just verify that. Okay. So, it is clear how do you find given a matrix to see it is diagonalizable or not. First step find eigenvalues characteristic polynomial and see what are the roots. If all roots are distinct, you are lucky, you will find eigenvectors for each, write down the columns of the matrix as eigenvectors and you get a matrix P which is invertible which will diagonalize it. If not, you have to see whether you are getting as many independent eigenvectors, the nullity is same as the algebraic multiplicity of that eigenvalue. If that is the case, again you are lucky and you are through, right. If not, it is not diagonalizable, right, okay. So, another example, okay. I want to do many examples, so that is a very clear what we are doing. So, A is the matrix given like this 3 0 0 minus 2 4 2 and minus 2 1 5. So, how will you write the characteristic polynomial? Diagonal entries becomes 3 minus lambda, 4 minus lambda and 5 minus lambda, everything else remains the same A minus lambda i, right. So, write that, find determinant of that matrix, okay. So, you can expect you can expand by any row or column, but because here are zeros coming, so it is good to expand it by the first row itself. So, 3 minus lambda multiplied by this goes, this goes, this multiplied by this, so that minus 2, right, and simplify it comes out to be this. So, that means what? If that is the characteristic polynomial factorized, that means lambda equal to 3 is an eigenvalue and lambda equal to 6 is another eigenvalue. So, this matrix has got only two eigenvalues, it is 3 by 3, it has got only two eigenvalues and the root lambda equal to 3 is repeated, 
right that means the eigen value lambda equal to 3 has got algebraic multiplicity as 2 lambda equal to 6 has got algebraic multiplicity equal to 1 total of algebraic multiplicity has to be equal to the order anyway because they are the roots of that degree right so that has algebraic multiplicity 1. So for lambda equal to 6 there is no problem because only one solution is going to be there which is going to span right dimension is going to be 1. So we can do that process. We will have to see for lambda equal to 3 what happens, what is the null space. We have to find the geometric multiplicity of the eigenvalue lambda equal to 3. If it is 2 then we are lucky then we can diagonalize, if not then it is not diagonalizable. So let us check what happens. So lambda equal to 3, so a minus 3i, so that is this matrix and you reduce it to rho equivalent form that comes out to be this. Right? Again and again since beginning the only thing which is playing a role is how to make a matrix in the rho equivalent form or reduced rho equivalent form. If you know that there is nothing much in the course as such other than understanding the concept. Okay. So what is the dimension of this, sorry, what is the rank, what is the rank of this matrix A minus 3i, the rank is 1 because only one non-zero row, right. So that means what, nullity is equal to 3 minus 1 that is 2, so we are lucky, nullity is 2 that means we should be able to find two linearly independent eigen vectors for this eigen value lambda equal to 3 because the reduced rho equivalent form or rho equivalent form says its nullity is 2, right. So how do you find that? What is the process of finding all solutions or linearly independent solutions for the null space? What is the pivotal variable? 1, x1 x2 and x3 will get arbitrary values. So the idea is you give x2 and x3 arbitrary values so that they become independent, right. So one choice is give x2 equal to 1, x3 equal to 0, one choice and find x1 and the other choice is give x2 is 0 and x3 equal to 1 and find out x1 in terms of that those will automatically become linearly independent. So that is what we do. So rank is 1, okay. So what is the null space? You can give x2 and x3 arbitrary values, right. That is what we said, x2 and x3 arbitrary values and find x1 in terms of x2 and x3. So that is how you write. It consists of all vectors of this form where x2 and x3 are arbitrary, right. That is writing the null space. And to find the basis, so this gives you the dimension is equal to 2 and find the basis. So you give first x2 equal to 1, x3 equal to 0 and second choice x2 equal to 0 and x3 equal to 1. So once you do that, you will get x1 and x2. You get two eigenvectors for the same eigenvalue lambda is equal to 3 and they will automatically be linearly independent. You can just check anyway, but it is not an issue at all because we have already done these kind of things. So these two are linearly independent. So we have got two linearly independent eigenvectors for the same eigenvalue lambda. For lambda equal to 6, we are going to get anyway one eigenvector. So we got three eigenvectors which are linearly independent. So matrix will be diagonalizable, okay. So let us compute that. So a minus 6i, so that gives you this. So its rank is equal to 2 as it should be because it is an eigenvalue and uh, multiplicity 1. It cannot be more than 1. It has to be something at least 1, okay. So and what, how will you get the solution? x2 minus x3 is equal to 0. x3 will be given as a arbitrary value and x2 determined in terms of that, right. And those two values when you put here you get the value of x1, but anyway x1 gives you x1 everything equal to 0, so x1 is 0 anyway from there, right. The first equation gives you x1 is equal to 0. So you get the eigen subspace corresponding to that is 0 alpha alpha when you put that value 
okay alpha is equal to right so is it clear x2 minus x3 is 0 so x2 is equal to x3 right so you put the value equal to alpha you get x2 equal to alpha so you can make a choice you can take any alpha you like right this is a span all right so one eigen vector which will so all you is a one dimensional so any vector non zero vector will span so let's take alpha equal to 1 so 0 1 1 is an eigen value eigen vector for the eigen value lambda equal to 6 right so once that is obtained we have got three eigen vectors corresponding to two eigen values but they are all linearly independent so we get the matrix the first one eigen vector the second and the third put them together you get the matrix p determinant of this is not zero because they are linearly independent you can check also so it is invertible and p inverse ap should be equal to the diagonal uh, this is again a mistake here that should be 3 3 and that should be 6 the third eigen value right so check so you can check whether computing p inverse you can compute p inverse ap and see it comes out diagonal or a multiplied by p is same as p multiplied by the diagonal matrix right 3 3 6 so either way you should check so that is verification of that actually you are getting uh, a diagonal matrix it's clear diagonalization process everything clear to everybody yes okay 